This is Things You Might Ought to Know, happening for Thursday, November 28, 2024. I am Jake Levin Payne. Don't cry for me because I'm out here doing this thing for Thanksgiving. I'm actually doing something smart and recording ahead. This has been recorded on Sunday, so I'm enjoying Thanksgiving, or enjoying thinking breakfast at this point in time, and dinner happening around noontime. We eat while football's on because we have a whole day of football, so we have a lot of grazing to do. Meanwhile, whatever you do for your Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. We'll talk more about that towards the end. A very long explanation of Thanksgiving on our day to celebrate, which is obvious today. But want to get the all the fun stuff we always do every single day here with both the, or all the, I guess you'd say, not just both, this is four big pieces. One being the birthdays, two being the history lessons, three being the great celebration, Thanksgiving, pretty obvious. And number four, one more thing you might want to know on the way out. This one is a very serious one that really goes with the season. So be prepared for that one. But first, let's have some fun today. These are people who are thrilled to be born and have a birthday. And this year, it happens to fall on the day of American Thanksgiving. These people start off with John Stewart, who was born John Stewart Leibovitz, of course, losing his first and middle name for his professional name. Did you know that Stephen Colbert's middle name is Tyrone and that John Oliver's middle name is William? Not even relevant to this discussion, but just sort of popped up when I looked to just make sure I knew what his actual name was. John Stewart turning 60 years on, on the day, 62 years old on the day, getting an extension for working on The Daily Show. Still working once a week, so nice job. You can get it. And, of course, doing what he can to save democracy or at least tell us how sometimes just bat as crazy we can be with the way we do things scouring both he's a very good at scouring both sides which is what john stewart is good at doing people like to call him the the savior of the left and when he battles the republican in their politics but guess what the left gets their jabs many often more than deserved as well also brother wishes to karen jillian who is 37 years old during um many stuff she's a bit a recent things is of course jumanji franchise and the gardens of the galaxy but lots more things that have a lot less makeup a lot less fantasy going on with it as well and judd nelson turning 65 years old on the day today happy birthday to this birthday trio on november 28th which happens of all this year on american thanksgiving Moving on to history lessons on this day, the 20th of November. Things that happened on this day going back, 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 back. Starting in 1975, where as the world turns, an edge of night. The last two American soap operas that had resisted going from pre-tape broadcasting, um, they actually had their last live episodes on this day back in 1975. Up until this point, everybody else decided, you know what? Tape is awesome. Let's tape a bunch of stuff ahead of time and then take vacations for, for a long patch of time. They were doing it every single day live. They decided today was not the day, or actually the next day was not the day. Today was the last day for live shows. On this day in 1995, you were able to not have to drive 55 as President Clinton signed the road bill that ended the federal 55 mile an hour speed limit. This was put in place during the gas crisis in the 70s. So for about 20 years, the limit on speed to hopefully limit your gas consumption uh, magically went away. And now it's, you know, what it is today basically people just drive like crazy everywhere but thanks to bill clinton thank you bill clinton for ending the double nickel speed limit on federal lands federal interstates across the nation on this day in 95 and in 2016 the broadway musical hamilton set a new record for the most money earned in a week on broadway one week of sales on this week happened to run out to 3.3 million dollars in sales uh hamilton um breaking lots of records being very you know historical in a way and then of course salacious in a way which is how you get people to watch these things and people of course thinking that hamilton is actually how the whole war went there were you know rapping puerto ricans uh going up the streets and fighting the revolution it wasn't quite that way but you, you get what you get for whatever um hamilton is a very popular i've not actually seen the entire play so i have to be honest with you. i've not seen the entire play i'm sure it's awesome I'm sure it's great I, unfortunately have not had a chance to see the whole thing so someday i might get a chance to see the rapping puerto ricans save the america at some point in time. Today is Thanksgiving, and we're going to have a very long read, so bear with us. I know if you're watching the video, you can probably not read that there. Um, that was like four paragraphs of stuff. Um, I didn't have time to really trim it when we made it in the thing. We we're doing these things in batches and running a little behind. So let me read this whole thing because it really does mean something for today. Thanksgiving is a federal holiday in the United States celebrated on the fourth Thursday of November. Outside of the United States, it's sometimes called American Thanksgiving as it distinguishes itself from Canadian holiday of the same name, related celebrations in other nations. The modern national celebration dates back to 1863 and has been linked to pilgrims in 1621, the harvest festival that it had in the late 19th century. 
as the name implies, the theme of the holiday generally involves around giving thanks with the centerpiece of most celebrations being Thanksgiving dinner. Dinner often consists of food associated with New England harvest celebrations, that being originally turkey, potatoes, mashed or sweet, squash, corn or maize, green beans, cranberries, um, typically a cranberry sauce and a pumpkin pie. But the expanded over the years to include specialties from the other regions across the United States, such as pecan pie from the south, also wild rice stuffing from the Great Lakes region, as well as international and ethnic dishes. Other Thanksgiving customs include charitable organizations offering Thanksgiving dinner for the poor, attending religious services, and watching or participating in parades and American football matches. It's Wikipedia, so they're football matches. The Thanksgiving is also typically regarded as the beginning of the holiday shopping season because the next day following Black Friday, considered to be the busiest shopping day of the year in the United States, Call Black Friday, and we'll have more of that probably tomorrow, because that's the day that most stores actually make it into the black based off their earnings for the year with all the extra stuff that's bought on that day. Until then, they're not quite broken even yet. They go into the black officially after people buy up all the stuff they think they're going to need for Christmas in one day a month for Christmas. Thank you for indulging me in that right there. American Thanksgiving, making it different from, of course, Canadian Thanksgiving, which was about a month ago, and the other traditions around the world. Whatever you want to eat, it's fine. Th turkey is the traditional meal. And of course, that we talked about cranberry sauce. We talked about pie. We talked about all sorts of stuffing and dressing things all the way around. But um, it's essentially a time, a day set aside. We talked about Washington and, and how it was made a real holiday where we come together, whether we like each other or not as families or friends and, fr and, and friends to givings as well and enjoy each other in times and give thanks for what we have achieved, what we got through. I've given thanks all week long for everything we have gotten through this last year, two, three years of just sort of just stuff that's happened here and thankful for the future things we're seeing after a long, long slog of things. We're seeing some fruits of coming about of the labors coming forward. And we thank you guys for, you know, being with us for along the way. And if you're brand new here, thank you for stopping in. Hopefully you'll stick around for a while. There'll be less long reads of, of, of holidays. Trust me. I, I, I promise you. But one more thing. One more thing to talk about, and this one is one we have to get serious about. It also goes along with the Thanksgiving, what we talk about, about in that Thanksgiving. A lot of times, this is a day where people look to give charitable things to the poor, like feeding them and things like that. We're going to talk about food insecurity on the day for the one more thing. This in the United States continues to rise with about 13.5% of households experiencing food insecurity at some point during the year. That means they don't have enough to eat. They don't know where the next meal is coming from. This is on top of any other thing that they're worried about money and living in the regions and things like that. Food insecurity, not have enough money or not enough food in some fashion, some form to eat to get your next meal. Putting it this way, make it sound even more dire. 47.4 million people live in the food insecure households in the U.S., and that's about 7.2 million of those are actual children. So put that in consideration as you're giving thanks today. Give thanks for what you have. Give thanks for the ability you have to feed your children, feed folks around you, and find ways that you can also help to contribute in other ways. It could be contributing to a food bank. It could be working a couple of days at some sort of food bank to help you go out. It could be just contributing uh, extra groceries and they have the, the food drives and the cereal drives and the toy drives and things like that. Think about food insecurity across this nation. This is a place literally in the United States where we throw away so much food. It's, it's, it's ridiculous that anyone goes to bed hungry and you can complain about processed foods, complain about how bad the food is. There is food to be consumed by many people across this nation, and no one should have to go without a meal for without uh, not without a choice and not without having enough to basically be satisfied going forward. It could be something they don't want to eat. But there is food for everyone around here. There's more than enough pie and probably literal pies for everyone out there. We should do something collectively to fix this. We should do something collectively to fix this. This week, we've given thanks to a lot of things that we've accomplished in the last year, 18 months, to getting through some of the things that have been heavy. We've also been using this time in our spotlights part for our, our sponsors to talk about some of the books that I bought because I, they are sponsored. You buy a book, I get a commission from those. You can stop by our sponsors page at theconversationproject.com. This is theconversationproject.com slash sponsors, and you can see many of other sponsors. They're all affiliate links, so you click on them, you have to buy from them, we get a small commission. This is simple commission work as well. It is a book. There are two covers because I wasn't really good at making the book. So we have a 
Amazon paperback on the left, and we have a digital version Kindle on the right. I've gotten better at working the, the back, back background for KDP, so we don't have so many double covers of books. But this is a book I produced um, going into the year called Mastering Your Money, and it was done mostly for myself because I'm bad with money, and I need it to kind of get back on this. Two years prior, before the tornado hit our house and we were really stuck with just, just strife and stuff, I was working on a betterment goal for myself to work on some things. And one of the things I was literally going to do the very next day after the tornado hit was start working on money and taxes and finances or get things better in order for the business. Obviously, things got in the way, but somewhere along the line, I did have time to kind of focus and write this book. It has 13 clear and concise tips for to guide you on financial freedom. I cannot say I've mastered all 13. I can say these are various tips that I have seen across my many years of trying to get right with my money that do work for everyone if you can implement them properly and you may not be able to implement them all at the same time. So that's the sort of thing. 13 clear and concise tips, easy ways to get your money straight right now this year in this moment. Check the book out if you're looking for a different way to understand your money from someone who's not going to sort of browbeat you on how bad you are at money. Sometimes the big issue with getting wrong with people to help you engage in these things is you get embarrassed. This book will not embarrass you because this is a person who wrote that book who was embarrassed and sometimes still is kind of anxious, embarrassed about dealing with people and talking about my money issues. Still money issues going through. It takes a whole lot of stuff to get through rebuilding a house from a tornado. Trust me on that one. If you don't have that to deal with, you have a lot less stress on your plate to work with. But just opening the book, starting at the first tip and seeing if it works for you. Start the next tip, see if it works for you. 13 clear ways to make sure you are better at money right now. Some things are pretty much instant. You, you, you see it, you learn it, you do a couple steps, you are doing better on your own. So check it out on Amazon. Click the link inside this presentation. Search for the book with my name in it. It's in Kindle version for $5 or free if you have Kindle Unlimited. It's paperback anywhere you find your books or $10 specifically. It's $10 what I priced it at. It's $10 specifically at Amazon in paperback. Maybe this is a gift for someone this year who needs to get better their money. This is a very simple and a non-judgy book to help you get your money straight this year. We thank you so much for being a part of what we do at the Conversation Project. It's a labor of love and a real labor going forward. We are extremely glad, extremely proud that just last week we got into um, ad monetization on YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube and they popped an ad in at the beginning of this thing or at the end of it, um, thank you for watching it because it gave us a couple of pennies towards the goal of not asking for much, much money from you guys. That is great. Still need your help to grow what's happening. And even the large contributors, large YouTubers ask for this constantly. So we are not feeling ashamed about this. We need you to like the videos we're producing. Share them with people who would like them as well. People you know who engage in the fun stuff like this stuff here or the newsy stuff we do every single day, except so much this week uh, as we're taking a bed of rest. The news and giving headlines and things you might ought to, things you might might not have heard, the full rundown of, of the conversational stories from yesterday and the quick hits we have throughout the day. And so that you don't miss out on what's going on because we're asking if you like what we're producing and you look like enough to share with folks, why don't you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on a moment when it pops up. It may be in a live feed or maybe it's something that's pre-produced or maybe it's just on a when it comes up. And you check out your feeds on Facebook, on TikTok, on X, on YouTube, wherever it is you're looking at, you can see what we're talking about. Also, as you subscribe, subscribe to our feeds uh, on Facebook and on X as well. That's just following us on Facebook and X. Facebook.com slash this is the conversation project, x.com slash th ungrow conversation. Because as you look at the stories you post every 50 minutes or so, we're not advertising that as much because that's on the other show, but we post news articles every 50 minutes on those feeds so that you can see what you can see. Subscribe to those feeds. You'll see news articles. You engage in them. You tell us that they're conversations just by clicking an emoji button and say it and talking up comments, talking them up. The higher score to get engagement, basically, the more people are talking about a story better chance we have to talk about them going forward. That's that simple. Work just like that. And like that, we are done. So if you're watching this in the morning, we released it at 6.05. Enjoy your Thanksgiving day. Enjoy your tryptophan comas. Enjoy all the turkey and dressing and stuffing, whichever way you want to call it. Hopefully you have cranberry sauce straight from the can with the ridges on it because it has the berry sitting in it. Be a bit suspect. And of course, you can fight over whatever your favorite other side is. Mine is usually greens. My mom makes greens, or it's or it is going to be mac and cheese. It's only is only mac, not mac and cheese when she doesn't make greens. But greens, I'm hoping to be on the table tonight. 
I don't know because this is taped on Sunday. I'll tell you when we get back how it went from back Thanksgiving dinner. Enjoy your day off if you have it. Enjoy your day off tomorrow for Black Friday if you have it. We'll talk more stuff like fun stuff tomorrow because we're going to do this for all week pre-recorded. And hopefully you're not out there fighting in the stores. Hopefully you uh, have found the wisdom to shop online or wait till Saturday uh, because Saturday. Enjoy yourself. Love you. Mean it. Thank you, news nerds, for being with us for this full year and be here for this more to come. More to come for tomorrow's edition of Things You Might Not to Know. Tomorrow. <laughs>